Not really handicapped, are you? I've had my difficulties. I saw you running down Amsterdam Avenue lifting that 200-pound motorized cart with one hand. Mr. Tomasulo, during times of great stress, people are capable of superhuman strength. Have you ever seen The Incredible Hulk, sir? No. How about the old uh, Spider-Man live-action show? George, I realize that we've signed a one-year contract with you, but at this point, I think it's best if we both go our separate ways. I, I don't understand. We don't like you. We want you to leave. Clearer? If the big man wants a new scoreboard, I don't want to be the one to tell him no. No one in the park is going to be able to see it from there. Well, let me just put a monitor on the skybox. Hey, George. The ocean called. They're running out of shrimp. <laughs> The ocean court. Running out of shrimp. Shrimp. Oh! Yes! That's what I should have said! Damn it! Sometimes in life, the gods smile upon you, my friends. Did you get someone to take that Canadian quarter? I got another meeting with Riley. Hold the audience, and I bet I can get him to try that line again. <laughs> Who is Riley? George was scarfing shrimp at this meeting, and this guy says, Hey, George, the ocean call. They're running out of shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the comeback. Oh, yeah? Well, the jerk store called. They're running out of you. You gotta be kidding me! How about this one? How about your cranium called? It's got some space to rent. <laughs> what does that mean? Hey, here you go. Hey, Riley, the zoo called. You're due back by six. No, 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 no. you're not helping me. Look, just tell him you had sex with his wife. That'll kid him. <laughs> I'm not looking for another line. I got the Look, George, just think about it. You know, you're married. How would you feel if somebody says to you that they just... All right, all right. You see, this is why I hate writing with a large group. Everybody has their own little opinions, and it all gets homogenized, and you lose the whole edge of it. I'm going with jerk store. Jerk store is the line. Jerk store. Yes! So, George... You're proposing a snow tire day at Yankee Stadium. As long as I don't throw them on the field. <laughs> Help yourself to some shrimp. I brought it up for everybody. I have to say, this, this proposal doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Well, you never know. Let's see how many I can fit in my mouth. <laughs> you know, George, the ocean called. They're running out of shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Riley? <laughs> <laughs> well, the jerk store called. They're running out of you. What's the difference? You're their all-time bestseller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Well, I had sex with your wife. His wife is in a coma. I proclaim this the summer of George! George is getting upset! You, uh, wanted to see me, Mr. Steinbrenner? Yes, George, I did. Come in. Come in. George, the word around the office is that you're a communist. Communist? I, I am a Yankee, sir, first and foremost. You know, George has struck me today that a communist pipeline into the vast reservoir of Cuban baseball talent could be the greatest thing ever to happen to this organization. Sir? You could be invaluable to this franchise. George, there's a southpaw down there nobody's been able to get a look at. Something Rodriguez. I don't really know his name. You get yourself down to Havana right away. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do my best. Good. Merry Christmas, George. 
and uh, bring me back some of those cigars in the cedar boxes. You know, the ones with the fancy rings? I love those fancy rings. They kind of distract you while you're smoking. The red and yellow are nice. It looks good against the brown of the cigar. The Maduro, I like the Maduro wrapper. The darker, the better. That's what I say. Of course, the Claro's good, too. That's more of a pale brown, almost like a milky coffee. I find the ring size very confusing. They have it in centimeters, which I don't really... You, uh, you wanted to see me, Mr. Steinbrenner? Yes, George, come in, come in. You know, George, I've been your biggest supporter around here, and that's why I was so disappointed to hear that you've been pilfering the equipment. George would never do anything like that. No, why would I? I own it. Right. So what are you saying? Why would George steal from the Yankees? He wouldn't. Of course not. Exactly. I don't really know what the hell's going on here. Sir? Nothing. Well, I was thinking it's about time to, for George's lunch. Yes, it is. All right, let's see, what do I have today? Oh, darn it, it's ham and cheese again. And she forgot the fancy mustard. I told her I like that fancy mustard. You know, you can put that fancy mustard on the shoe and it would taste pretty good to me. Oh, she made up for it with a cupcake, though. Hey, look at this. You know, I got a new system of eating these things, George. I used to peel off the chocolate. Now I turn it upside down. I eat the cake first and save the frosting for the end. It's almost a dessert dessert. You wanted to see me, Mr. Steinbrenner? Yes, George, please, come in, come in. Thanks for the card. I loved it. Gosh, it made me feel good. You know, George, word has it that you were the brains behind the whole thing. Oh, no, no, not just, just me. The whole organization, you know, especially Mr. Morgan. Morgan, Morgan. You know, his name is conspicuously absent from this card. It's almost like he went out of his way not to sign it. Oh, no. Morgan is a good man, sir. You can stop kowtowing to Morgan. Congratulations, you've got his job. Well, thank you, sir. You, you know, I'm not quite sure I'm right for it. Oh, stun, George. He's out. You're in. It's a lot more work, you know. I know. A lot more responsibility. I know. Long, long hours. I know. Not much more money. But you'll finally get the recognition you deserve. That's what I'm afraid of. You know, Mr. Stanton, you know, George, as painful as it is, I've had to let a few people go over the years. Yogi Berra, Lou Pinella, Bucky Dent, Billy Martin, Dallas Green, Dick Hauser, Bill Verdon, Billy Martin, Stump Merrill, Billy Martin, Bob Lemon, Billy Martin, Gene Michael, Buck Scholes. Uh, uh, George, you didn't hear that from me. George? You wanted to see me, Mr. Steinbrenner? Yes, George. Come in, come in. George, where it has it you've been cracking under the pressure? Can't cope, can't stand the heat. Spit the bit. Oh, uh, Mr. Steinbrenner, I can explain. Oh, we all get a little cuckoo sometimes, George. I used to be like you, raiding personnel till they cried, calling managers on the field during a game, threatening to move the team to New Jersey just to upset people. And then I found a way to relax. I've got two words to say to you, George. Hot tub. <laughs> How are you enjoying it, George? Melts that tension away, doesn't it? You gotta get that jet on the good spot. Oh, 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 yes, that feels good. Yes, that's real good. Oh, yeah, that's where I keep all my tension. Right under that chicken bone. Sometimes I'll get my wife to just stick her thumb right in there like a screwdriver. You know, the Phillips head, not the flat one. Oh, God, those flat ones frustrate me. You got it in, but it slips out. You put it in again, it slips out again. You a single man, George? Well, I, I just recently... I'll uh... tell you, if you want to get something wild going on in your life, you got a girl and bring her in one of these things. It's like four shots of wild turkey. <laughs> She'll think you hop along Cassidy. <laughs> Terrible about that Mickey Mantle, wasn't it? You know, we used to talk. I don't think you like him very much, you know. Come in. Ah, well, well. Mr. Steinbrenner, I am very concerned about George Costanza. How about a good morning? Oh, yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you, Will. Uh, anyway, his car's in the parking lot. The front end is bashed in, and there's blood in the car, and we can't find him anywhere. Obviously, he was in some sort of a terrible car accident. And trooper that he is, he tried to make it into work, sir. All right, Wilhelm, listen to me. I want the stadium scoured. He could be bleeding to death in the bullpen. Yes, sir. Put everyone on alert. Check all the area hospitals, clinics, shelters. We've got to find that kid. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We must find George. Yes, sir. Find him, Wilhelm. Yes, sir. Well, what is with these people all day long? Come in, come in. Oh, Mr. Steinbrenner, you know, we've searched everywhere. There's no sign of him. Not even anyone who remotely fits his description, sir. Oh, my God. Do you know what this means, Will Hope? What's... He's dead! Costanza's is dead! No, no, sir, well, you see, I... Oh, as quickly as he came here, he's gone, the, the little guy! <sighs> easy, easy, Big Stein, get it together. Okay, Will Hope. Yes, sir. Find out where his parents live. Parents. I'm gonna personally notify them. And, uh, line up some candidates to fill that assistant to the general manager position? Yes, sir. We can't grieve forever. Right. We've yes, got to get back to business. Yes, sir. Back to business. Yes. Oh. 
Mrs. Costanza? Yes? My name is George Steinbrenner. I'm afraid I have some very sad news about your son. <laughs> I can't believe it. He was so young. How could this have happened? Well, he'd been logging some pretty heavy hours. First one in in the morning, last one to leave at night. That kid was a human dynamo. Are you sure you're talking about George? You are Mr. and Mrs. Costanza. What the hell did you trade Jay Buna for? <laughs> he had 30 home runs and over 100 RBIs last year. He's got a rocket for an arm. You don't know what the hell you're doing. Well, Buna was a good prospect, no question about it. But my baseball people love Ken Phelps' bat. They kept saying, Ken Phelps, Ken Phelps. Come in, come in. Mr. Steinbrenner. Oh, 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 oh. Is it you? Yeah, it's me, sir. It's been a harrowing few days. <laughs> After the car accident, I, I crawled into a ditch. I managed to survive on grubs and puddle water until a kindly old gentleman picked me up. Grubs, huh? Gotta admit, I never tasted one of those. Anyway, as I was lying in the puddle, I, I think I may have found a way for us to get Barnes and Griffey, and we wouldn't have to give up that much. Well, don't tell it to me, George. Tell it to the new assistant to the general manager. I didn't get the job. Well, once you were dead, we couldn't just sit on our hands. We gotta make a move. But you still have your old job. Of course, we'll have to dock you for the time you missed. We're running a ball club here. If I give special treatment to you, everyone will want it. Next thing you know, it's chaos. And I can tell you this, chaos does not work for the New York Yankees. Not as long as I'm running the show. Doors on the bathroom stalls here at the stadium don't offer much by way of privacy. But I was thinking if we extend the doors all the way down to the floor... All the way to the floor? What do you got in your mind? You're suffocating there. You're lucky you have doors at all. You know, when I was in the Army... Hey, Costanzo, what, what is that you're reading over there? That looks pretty tasty. It's a calzone, sir. Calzone, huh? Yeah, let's see it. Pass that on down. Let's get a little look at that. Big Stein wants a little taste. Come on, come on. Yeah, sit down here. That's a good boy. Okay, let's... Hey, what's in this thing? Uh... Cheese, pepperoni, uh, eggplant? Uh... Eggplant, huh? Oh, mm, that's a hell of a thing. All right, all right, back to business. Here you go. Very good, very good. Excellent, excellent little calzone you got there, Costanza. Okay, I'm a little jealous. All right, here we go. Like I told you last week, the renovation of the press box is taking too long. All right. Well, you know, that eggplant was very good. Very good. Everybody out. I got eggplant on my mind. Costanza, go get me a couple of calzones right now. Prado, move it out. Pick Stein wants an eggplant calzone. He must have one. Everybody out. Hurry up, hurry up. Ah, oh, this calzone is fantastic. And look, no dripping. The pita pocket prevents it from dripping. The pita pocket. <laughs> yeah, what is it, Watson? A lost and found, huh? No, I don't think we need that. If people can't hold on to things, that's their tough luck. You got a little junk on your lip there, by the way. You know, a, a lost and found could be a good idea. Hold it, Watson. You like a lost and found, George? Definitely. Hmm. All right, a lost and found. But there's got to be some kind of time limit. We're not running a pawn shop here. Is that the calzones, Mr. Steinbrenner? Oh, beautiful. I'm starving, George. So, I thought tomorrow, uh, maybe we try a little corned beef. Corned beef? I don't think so. It's a little fatty, don't you think? How about Chinese? Chinese? No. Too many containers. Big mess. Big mess. Very sloppy. We're going to stick with the calzones from Paisanos. That's the ticket. I just thought it'd be nice, you know, a little variety. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. George, let me tell you something. When I find something I like, I stick with it. From 1973 to 1982, I ate the exact same lunch every day. Turkey chili in a bowl made out of bread. Bread bowl, George. You eat the chili, then you eat the bowl. Nothing more satisfying than looking down after lunch and seeing just a table. <laughs> That's right. You want me to say it again? I'll say it again. I haven't had a pimple since I was 18, and I don't care if you believe me or not. And how's this? You're fired. <laughs> okay, you're not. I'm just a little hungry. I'm sorry. This Costanza, where's my calzone? It's 1.15. He's late. Wait a second. I gotta call you back. Oh, that smell. I know that smell. That's it's in the building. Costanza is in the building! And he's not in this office! He's got the calzone! Costanza! I got to him! I'm telling you, Costanza! What did he do with it? It's gotta be here somewhere. I'm not crazy. I can smell it. <laughs> hmm, he's close. Hey, Costanza, how come these clothes smell like calzones? My friend put them in the pizza oven. Put them in a pizza oven? What for? To heat them up. That is not a bad idea. What about this? We'll put all the uniforms in big pizza ovens before the game. That's fantastic. Keep those muscles loosey-goosey. This could be big. Clean up this mess, will ya? Big Stein's onto something. I smell a penna!